My name is Andy Latecki. My company is Super Brickle Equipment Company. And this is an application for a clean room, stainless steel gantry crane, two ton capacity with an Electrolift, ultra close headroom, electric wire rope hoist. And we've designed and customized the system for the requirements of the clean room, uh, for wipe down, and also the customer wanted controls to be remotely mounted off the hoist where they were easy to get to, and we've done that also. We've got a stainless steel control box as built for us by Power Electronics. Uh, the stainless steel gantry was built by David Round, and uh, we've combined all components on our floor here for the, uh, for the customer's application. Uh, the ultra low headroom allows the hook block to go all the way up uh, as high as it possibly can go under the hoist and this allows them to get the high hook that they required. Um, the gantry itself, because it's movable, uh, can be moved from application to application in the clean room and um, everything is designed for wipe down. Clean room hoist consists of hoist motor, the worm drive, uh, a gits breather is a containment device which keeps the oil from entering into the clean room. And there's one for the hoist gear case and there's one on this side of the trolley gear case. Uh, you have stainless steel wheels on the trolley you have a stainless steel beam on the gantry with, with the stainless steel side plates. Uh, you have an overload device set at 125%. Right now we have the overload device jumpered out so that uh, we can lift the test load. In the control box, you have a variable frequency drive for hoist, for trolley, you have fuses, you have a transformer, which is fused and grounded. And you have a terminal strip here where all wires are landing on the terminal strip. And they go out through the fest tuning to the hoist. So what's going to happen then is, from an electrical point of view, you'll need to connect L1, L2, L3, and ground. And everything else downstream of that will be connected. We're not going to connect it so that you can, at your... Depend, depending on where your electrical source is, you can come from the bottom of the box or the side of the box or the top of the box, whichever is easiest for you, make that electrical connection for powering the system.